Hi, Mervyn Davis, the non-exec chair of Led One, uh, which is very much a long-term investment company founded by Michael. Great for us to be here. Great great to be here this, you know, today. Um, Michael, you've been a long-term investor for a long time, dare I say. Um, How do you add value to companies that you invest in? I think our principal distinction from uh, private equity type of investment would be that we are uh, long-term, as as you mentioned. So we do not have any particular time horizon for our investment. We're free to invest money for 5, 7, 10, 15 years. And we are looking just for development of the company. And we believe that we should uh, be investor in the company until the company reaches a certain stage, which we call institution. And, you know, when you look at your supporting management teams, how do you avoid being too controlling and stifling innovation and, and, you know, their leadership. How do you get the right balance? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, uh, I think to build an institution without uh, building their first class professional independent management, just impossible, definitely. And therefore, for us, it's very clear distinction between the role of the board and the role of the management. Uh, I would like just to uh, recall the one important quote from Thomas Jefferson, who once upon a time, when he was a uh, Vice President of the United States, and uh, uh, him talk about the Senate, and that the Senate should resolve very few questions uh, very slowly, but with a very high quality. And that's, uh, to rephrase it, it's uh, very relevant to what we are doing in the company. I think that we should, uh, as a board, should be focused on a very few important strategic questions, not so slowly because the time has changed and the world is uh, moving much faster than it was in the 18th century and uh, with a very high quality. And uh, effectively, we are focusing on a strategy, uh, which is rather principal than the concrete decision, and a key appointment. So uh, we are just would like to find those who possible, who capable to take the whole responsibility yeah. Of the development of the company. Culture is, I know, having worked with you now for many years, culture is very important. Uh, And what are you looking for in managers? You know, because they've got to be leaders, they've got to be able to build a culture that that you see as a key ingredient in this fast changing world. Yeah, I think actually, uh, as I said, you know, boards should be first of all focused on uh, uh, principal issues. And this set of principles create a kind of concept. And the concept, of course, uh, steadily evo- uh, evolves somehow. And history of evolvement of concept create a culture. So we are looking for the management, those who really could build this culture, evolve this culture, and also preserve this culture yeah. For, yeah. for years ahead. You've, you've uh, I've seen it personally, you've worked in so many different industries. Does it matter? Which industry? It, you know, you, you're looking at people, strategy, culture. So, it, it, you know, irrespective of industry, does it matter which industry? Yeah, I think actually it's a lot of commonality in different uh, industries and different type of businesses, because in the end of the day, businesses are just, my guess, repercussion of the human nature. It's a repercussion of uh, human incentives, interests, needs, and you know, kind of uh, desire and so on. On the other hand, uh, uh, changes of the world, which is right now going, as I said, very fastly, have enormous impact for each particular industry, quite specific. Some industries have more influence from this digitalization of the world, some less and so on. But anyway, so we need to have common approach to the uh, principle for each of that industry. At the same time, we should understand trends and tendencies in each particular business. And that combination would be the most uh, important balance we should achieve. We're seeing technological change, we're seeing climate change, we're seeing lots of things happening at the same time. Do you think it's faster period of change than before, or do you think it was always like this? The world always has changed, but right now, because of new technology and because of definitely uh, invention, which uh, mankind did within the last decades, I think the speed of changes uh, increased. Significantly, so therefore the key principles of the uh, management of in any businesses should be uh, ability to react for the fastly changing world, 
and uh, let's say uh, react reactiveness and also um, uh, flexibility. So these two common uh, features for all, all businesses we are investing. So I think the message from Michael from letter one is an ability to adapt, to be flexible, to change, but also for boards to focus on a few key items and then develop that thinking. We're in a fast changing world and it, irrespective of industry, you need to move with speed and you need managers who build great cultures. Thank you very much. Thank you.